Hello and welcome to OBS Setup and Stream, your easy guide to OBS Studio for Crafters. I'm Anthony Minnis from Mixed Media. In this video, I'm going to show you another feature within OBS Studio that will enable you to bring up a live web page that you can actually interact with and show your viewers around. It really is nice and easy to set up. If you like the contents of my videos, please click on the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you are new and why not click on the notifications button as well. This will allow you to be informed of all brand new content that I upload to my YouTube channel. OK, let's dive in and get started in OBS Studio. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new scene. So click on the plus on the scenes window and then we are going to name this one website screen. Click OK to confirm that one. Once that's been created, then go down to the sources, click on the plus and then go up to a browser. And this is the one that will enable you to bring up your own unique browser. So we're going to name this one YouTube channel. And as always, click on the OK just to confirm it. So that's going to bring up this window where you need to highlight the URL address and delete it. Yes, that's correct. We want to delete it because we're now going to jump to our website that we actually want to bring up in our live stream. And then we just need to go up to the address bar, highlight it, right click and copy the address. And then what we need to do is dive back into OBS Studio where we're again going to go to the URL part, right click and go paste. That's going to put in the address that we're going to go to in our stream. The width and the height, you want to match exactly what we are streaming in. So in our case, it's 1280 by 720. We're going to use a custom frame rate of 25 and we're going to let OBS Studio actually then control the audio because some websites do have sound. If you don't want that, just don't click it. Custom CSS, delete that, so highlight and delete. So you can also shut down source when not visible and refresh browser when scene becomes active. Once that's done, click on OK. So just give that a couple of seconds and hey presto, there is our website, in this case my YouTube channel. I'm going to go down to the volume, click on the cog, go advanced properties and for the audio monitoring, I'm going to go monitor only mute output because I do not want the sound. OK, so there it is. But as you can see at the moment, it's not interactive. I can't scroll or anything. So click on the interact button. This will bring up another window so you can see when I'm actually scrolling down there with that window, the window that's actually going to be streaming copies exactly the same. You can then actually interact with the content within the website. So I just clicked on the play button there. And again, you can see that copies exactly with the window behind. So if you want to make that web page window look a little bit more fancy, just take some of the tips and tricks from previous videos that I've shown you where you can actually add a background. You can add scrolling text in there as well. And obviously where it comes to the actual web page itself, you may just want to scale that down a little bit so it fits within the overall window. If you've liked the contents of this video, please click on the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and why not click on the notifications button, which will allow you to be notified of all brand new content that I upload to my YouTube channel. Well, that's all for this one. As always, thanks for watching.